Hello my lovelies and welcome back to Crazy But Not Dangerous. I'm Shorty Vaughn and you know what? It's time for another $5 dessert deal. Yay, hooray, hot diggity. Let's get down to it. Went to Dollar Tree this morning and I needed a dessert to serve tomorrow night. Um, we're having family dinner and Andrew's birthday celebration all in the same day. Yay, hooray, I'm super excited. Anyhow, I needed a dessert and I was looking around and thinking about what I could do. Anyhow, this is what I came up with. So at my Dollar Tree, they had these uh, whole, what are they, half peaches in syrup. And it is a 29.1 ounce can. And let me tell you, I opened these suckers up and the color is terrific. And the peaches feel so firm and nice. Now the problem with it is that these are half peaches and I really need it sliced. But for $1.25, this was a bargain. They look delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and slice them up myself. So I've got a nine by 13 pan here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a little, a little, a little spray, a little spray so it won't stick. This weeks ago over at the Dollar Tree, it's still good. So yeah, just a little spray. And I am going to go ahead and pour my can of peaches, and they are in syrup, right there into the dish. I'm going to grab a knife and a fork and just go ahead and slice these myself. You know, it's such a bargain at $1.25. I don't mind at all. These are pretty firm, and um, I think that's going to make the absolute best little yum yum dessert for Andrew's birthday. His request was for peach cobbler, and so not a, he's not a fan of the birthday cake that's all right i'm not worried about it we're just going to get these sliced up and i am going to use both cans because i'm going to need to serve about 15 people also bought a little ice cream. Ice cream was on sale over at my Albertsons for, I don't know, what was it? $1.57, something like that for, you know, 1.75 quarts. Put this aside. Now on my second can, I've got a bowl here. And I've also got, you know, a little strainer. And I'm going to strain off the juice. But we're not going to throw it away. I don't know. We're going to use it for something else. You know it. Okay. Just strain that juice off in there. Give it a good shaky shake. Yeah, that color couldn't ask for better. And they smell delicious. Okay. Let me go ahead and get these sliced up really quick. And if you were lucky enough to find a big can of sliced peaches at your dollar store, you just go for it. Absolutely. But I'm feeding the crowd, and I needed the big cans, and they did not have any small cans. This was really the only size that they had, so it was this, or it was sliced pears. And, you know, he made a request. It's his birthday. I'm going to indulge him. So, just get these all sliced up. Okay, got my peaches all sliced up. My pan is completely covered. At the bottom, no holes. Everyone's gonna get some delicious fruit. And 
then let's go ahead and I tasted the syrup and a peach quality assurance check you know and mine were not too sweet if you found that yours were incredibly sweet I would recommend about a tablespoon of lemon juice to balance it out you know because life's all about the balance got a little cinnamon here I'm gonna go ahead and add well that doesn't fit it's a story of my life I am gonna add one two teaspoons of cinnamon And then just go ahead and give this a stir up. If you didn't have the spray, just use some butter or margarine or, you know, whatever you've got going on over there. you got a little butter wrapper that you saved. And, and yeah, just go ahead and rub that all around in there. Okay. Also have a 4.5 ounce bag of these dried cranberries. And I'm just going to go ahead and add those two. And that's going to add a real tartness to the to the copper. It'll kind of balance out the you know, sweetness from the peaches and then also from the syrup. And I'm okay with that. Absolutely. Here we go. It looks good already. I'm so hungry. I have a vanilla cake mix. Yellow cake mix would work just as well. This is a 15.25 ounce. Got it this Dollar Tree. They had everything I needed today. I was pleasantly surprised. Okay, I'm going to take this um, syrup and I'm going to measure out one cup. Do you know what it is? It's one cup. Okay, to my one cup of syrup, I'm going to go ahead and add my whole cake mix. Oh, short is on. What you doing? It'll be okay, I promise. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and stir that in until it is very um, much a doughy consistency. Shouldn't take but a second. No need for a power tool. I've got my little spoon, it'll be all right. We don't typically make a big deal about birthdays. But, you know, this one's kind of a big one. And, you know, it's been, it's been a rough couple of years. Any reason to celebrate? I'm getting behind it. Absolutely. I've got all kinds of fun things. I ordered a bingo game. And we have prizes. And um, balloons and streamers. And, you know, the whole nine yards. Yeah, absolutely. If your dollar store didn't have um, a white or yellow cake mix, you know, like a pancake mix would probably be okay. Maybe they have a Bisquick or the generic alternative. Anyhow, just with that little bit of stirring. You know what? Yeah, that's a good, loose, doughy kind of consistency. I've got my oven preheating to 375 degrees. And you don't have to get all of the lumps out. It, it will work itself out, I promise. Okay. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and just kind of dollop this all around. Just as I would if I was using like a Bisquick. want every bite to have a little bit of the, 
you know, the cobbler topping. So try to get that on there as even as possible. Don't want anybody to feel shortchanged. This is going to cook in the oven for about an hour. And I know I'm breaking my rule about using the oven, but he's worth it. And this will kind of spread out as it bakes. Well, thank you very much. All set. It's all ready to go in. Good timing. I'm making a mess. Okay. I'll go ahead and just kind of spread this puppy out. Oh, it smells so good. I like to do some things ahead of time of the party. Making the dessert is one thing that I usually will do um, because I hate for things to be left to the last minute. Um, also, I don't like to be rushed. I, I don't want to be cooking while everybody else is having a good time. I think that's sad. I don't want to be trapped in the kitchen. So, yep, going to get this all in. Gonna get th this is one of my pre-prepared items. I made room in the refrigerator for it. It's gonna be fantastic. And I would say that because we have no potentially hazardous ingredients in here, this actually could probably be foiled and just left on the counter. There's no egg, there's no butter. Yeah, yeah. So if you're running low on room, this would be a great thing to make and just, you know, put it over to the side somewhere nice and safe where people won't be, people won't be trying to eat it all the time. So, yep, yippee skippy, looks terrific. Let's get another, yeah. So I got pretty good coverage. I'm okay with that. And there is plenty enough liquid in there. Okay. All right, that puppy's in. It's going to take about an hour. I'm going to fold laundry, do some dishes, you know, all the things. But there is plenty enough liquid in there that um, those cranberries are going to get all nice and fluffy and delicious. It'll be a little scrumptious bite just to counteract the uh, sweetness from the syrup and the peaches. It's just the thing. Yay, hooray. Bring you back in an hour and show you what happened. Alrighty, well, it actually took me about 45 minutes, not an hour, at 375 degrees. And my top is all golden brown. My fruit is all cooked. And my cranberries have plumped up. Let's see if I can get you a look at that. Yeah, you can see the cranberries. They all plumped up. Yay, great. And that helped offset some of the um, juice from the peaches. Now there's plenty of juice left and that will be somewhat absorbed by the um, cobbler topping. My favorite part of the cobbler, is you've got the crunchy top and then, you know, the kind of cakey part. And then there's this layer underneath that sits on top of the fruit. It's a little bit gooey. That's, that's my favorite part. Anyhow, it looks and smells terrific. Um, I don't really want to get into it because I want enough for my guests. And also, you know, kind of want to serve it as a whole. I'm going to serve this alongside of ice cream. And if I'm feeling generous and have time tomorrow, I might even make some homemade whipped cream to celebrate the occasion. This looks and smells delicious. I think this will completely satisfy Andrew's desire for a peach cobbler. And I did it for $5 and two teaspoons of cinnamon. 
If you don't have cinnamon, go ahead and omit it. But if you have maybe like, you know, pumpkin pie spice or maybe even some ginger, that would be fantastic too. All right, $5 dessert deal. Yay, hooray. Looks terrific. I can hardly wait for tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and let this puppy cool off because it is piping hot. Got my oven turned off because it's hot here too. I think we're going to hit like 103 today. Yep, so got that all turned off. This looks delicious, very celebratory, and everyone will have a little bit of fruit, and everyone will have a little bit of cobbler topping, and I think that's just delicious. Yay, hooray! All right, my lovelies, well, that's my $5 dessert deal from Dollar Tree. Thanks for joining me today. Be good, be careful, look both ways. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching Crazy But Not Dangerous.